Insurance? Done. A hostel address? Got it. Miniature to the plane. Free booze, I checked. I think I'm all good. It's only a year. Or fly by. Well, stay safe, hon. And remember, if it's an emergency, then just send us which text. I know, I promise. And no repeat what happened in Colombia, yeah? Uh, or New Zealand. Or Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> I'm a seasoned traveller. Stop worrying. Can't leave you lot forever anyway, can I? Well, let's make sure of that. Come on. Great pug. Ready? Water. Earth. Fire. And air. Goddess great, mother of all, spirit mighty, hear our call. For elements strong, we desire water. Start using non-stick. Oh. Hello. Brilliant. I'll be down in a sec. The taxi's here. In the Miss Marple. <laughs> Does nothing ever look good on me? OMG. Oh, Ooh, fit new work, mate, in that. Relax. Relax. Hey. Hi. Might be shy. Yeah. Looks like it. Well, at least you stand a chance with him. I'll definitely never know what it's like to kiss him. Hold his big arms. Choose a rescue dog with him. Get much in hair, of course. <sighs> no, you take it, please. Your leg. It's fine. I'm a physio. It's better for me to stand. Please. Of his misery. Hi. No, I'm fine. 
No, nothing's happened, Mum. I don't sound strange. Everything's fine. Fine. Some men cannot take a hint. I don't suppose you... Stalker alert. <laughs> Copy, sir. in the other room. I cannot believe this is happening. You make me get an 11-hour flight back from India because you killed a cat. It was an emergency. Grace getting knocked off her bike is an emergency. Jude being held hostage by her junkie boyfriend is an emergency. You sitting on your boss's cat is not an emergency. I didn't sit on him. I microwaved him, OK? Well, how was I supposed to know the little prick was asleep in there? I was in a rush because of you and your hour-long showers. I wanted to give my coffee a blast, but I nuked my boss's cat instead. So can we all just figure out a way to bring him back to life? Otherwise, I'm going to lose my job and I won't be able to cover your rent or yours, and then we'll all be homeless. Whatever you do, just stay out of sight. Missed you. Missed you too. Janet! Come in. Where's Timmy? Cup of tea? My cat, now. No, I'll just go and find him. <laughs> eh? Bollocks. Oh, earth. Oh, spellbook. The Founding Sisters would be so proud of us. The Founding Sisters never worked in advertising. Here we go. We need something of the cats. Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel. And Virgin Water. Take stuff out of jars. OK. Spirit, we ask with all our might, love this creature and give it life. Listen now to our command and bring it back from Summerland! in here. I've been getting emails constantly from New York. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm speaking. Sorry. Who's been dealing with Marcos? That, 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 that should be. The account manager. Yes, you. I need you for three days and I'm ready to find Oh, I've been using your room for private physio clients. And your bed's in storage. But, um, you can bunk in with me. We'll be like we're at solstice camp again. Yeah, let me take that and put a wash on. Oh. Um, and you can hang your things in my wardrobe. Don't worry. I'll probably be off again in a couple of days. This account represents 55% of our business. What Marcos wants, Marcos gets. With a big fat cherry on the top. Hi, you must be Janet. There's no margin here for error or incompetence. If that phone rings one more time, you're off the account. Well, I'm, I'm taking the battery out. 
Battery's out. I want the situation resolved before I get to my desk. Consider it done. You look a mess. I'll, um, I'll sort that out too. Oh, that went well. What? She's horrible to you. Well, it would have been fine if your mum didn't keep ringing me. What is her problem? She worries. That's ridiculous. You're 22. Grace takes shit off her mum, you take shit off your boss. What's the difference? No, I don't. I don't. And anyway, Janet is the boss. She... I don't have to explain myself to you. Touched a nerve. She comes home sometimes. And I know she's been crying. Mobile. You stupid cow! You overcommitted us to the principal fee. Well, I'm sorry if I've made a mistake, Janet, but I'm trying my best. And although you're a great leader and an inspiration to work for, you never give me any responsibility. So can we talk about this later in your office? Mm. Mm. Practicing standing up to Janet. Smiling at. Last night went really well. I miss casting spells. And it means all four of us have to be together. Don't start. What? Guilt tripping me, it's not fair. I'm entitled to occasionally travel. But you've been off the electoral roll for years. You might as well not exist. You're acting like travelling is some sort of cop out. Sorry I never vote, but I'm happy. We want you to be happy. We miss magic. And we miss you. But we've got the rest of our lives to be old witches together. We don't have to start just yet, do we? Well, before you go off to become a Buddhist nun in Outer Mongolia, can we at least do another switch? What kind of switch? I don't know. Anything. A little one, like an enchantment? For a friend at work. I feel really sorry for her. This guy, he won't even look at her. She's got this wonky eye and this big... head. You know? It's really sad. We can enchant a brooch for a day or two. Help things along. Well, have you got something of his? Mm hmm oh, I've got a pair of his glasses, a rail cart, some sweet wrappers, some doodles. You know, you can't even answer the phone without doodling. Bloody hell, Jude. It's you. OK, I really like him. Is that so bad? This one might work. I just want someone to love me. And then all this self-abuse will stop. If you need me, I'll be over here asking myself some very searching questions. Hey. Oh. Hey. I, uh... <laughs> We've never really... No. We haven't. It's awful. I know. Where's your friend? Oh, he's gone. Left me all alone. Why would he do that? I'm sorry, Janet, if I've made a mistake, but it's because I'm trying my These best. These locations are so bad, I've had to fire three people to lift my mood. Why are they so bad? Well, I'm sorry, Janet, if I've made a mistake, but it's because I'm, uh, I'm trying. Yes, you are. Very. Well, I I'm, I'm trying my best, and although you're a, a great leader and an inspiration to... I could get a monkey to do this job. ...to work for, you never, never a give me crutches. any... monkey you never, you never give me any... He operates the keyboard with his nose. Oh, fuck off! Thank you, Stella. That will be all.
Oh, stop it. <laughs> Stella. Oh, no. Get off. Two minutes, yeah? Feathers, starflower. Olive is amazing. Did you bring the spell book? I could use my witch app. OK. We need to erase two hours of Janet's memory so that she hasn't fired Stella yet. We've brought a cat back to life. I'm pretty sure we can do this. And we need something of hers. That's great, David. And I'll take you through the full campaign on Thursday. You order this. Does this suit say marketing to you? Don't take this the wrong way, but could you please piss off back to Noddyland or wherever it is that you've come from? Not you. <laughs> no. Well, listen, are you happy with the colour palette? Oh, no, I think we'll stick with that. Good, so it's full steam ahead then for Thursday. Let me just check that. Great. Well, I'll bring them in on Thursday. Oh, no, pink is good. Yeah, it's witty. <laughs> witty in pink, indeed. Great, David. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you Thursday. Yep, we've got the four boys coming in specifically for that. Great. The other team are very happy. <sighs> indeed. No, let me check. 4.45? Yeah, 4.45 Thursday. Well, always a pleasure. Thanks, David. See you then. O oh, great spirit, wise, sublime, help us turn the hands of time. Back to when, when no harm was done, no tempest sprayed, no conflict spun. Take Janet. What's the Senate? Boot. Janet Boot. Her brother's called Bob. Bob Boot. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Girls! Take Janet Boot to a previous place where serenity shows upon her face. <laughs> Shall I? Carry on. Hello. Hi. So shall I reboot your flights for tomorrow? Oh, thank you. How's the dragon? Memory wiped. You were great today. Thanks. I'll get you extra leg room because you're going to need to catch up on your sleep. Go into my room. In the little black desk. And there's an envelope in there for you. I forgot to give it to you. What with our feline episode? What's all this? Well, it's my Hannah's flying visit emergency pack, just in case you ever interrupted your trip with a visit home. What are all these cards? Oh, you never remember the girls' birthdays. I've put some money in there for stamps, too. Oh. Friend. What do you mean? You're amazing. When you're here? I'm hardly ever here. When was the last time I remembered your birthday? Um, you managed to get me a present wherever I am in the world and I can't even pick up the phone. And um, it doesn't matter. It's different, isn't it, when you're the one who's away having adventures? Home just doesn't exist. That's fine. No, it's not. Home totally exists. I think about you lot all the time. I've got to go. You're a lovely friend. See you later. Let me 
help with those. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm grateful for the work. Let me help. No. What's the matter? <laughs> this is some sort of test. I, I don't know what this means. I think we need a little chat. I think you can start without her, Stella. You know our account. Well, I know how much Janet wants to present this to you, so uh, I'll just go and see if I can hunt her down. So he says he phoned me on the Friday to make arrangements, which he doesn't, and he won't answer any calls all night. And then I see on his Facebook he's been out with lacrosse mates. So I, I am him, and, and he's all, I've got flu. And he, why is he lying to me? I didn't understand a lot of that, but it sounds to me like he doesn't appreciate what he's got with you. What are you doing? I've been looking for you everywhere. Marcus has had two cups of tea and a muffin. I can't cover anymore. Are you going to be all right? It, everyone says you're this bitch queen from hell, but they're wrong. They say that? Mm -hmm. When you go to New York, there's this uh, special dance we do. Even the IT boys know it, and I've never seen anyone talk to them. Does everyone hate me? Of course, but you love that. Uh, do we open with questions or do we pincer Marcos with presentations, focus groups and summary? Or... What's your feeling? Who's Marcos? Sorry I'm late. It's OK. It's you. Hi. What coincidence? Yeah. So, uh, what do you want? The massage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just this uh, ligament thing, uh, aggravated. Uh, I kept my pants on. I don't know the rules. <laughs> oh, good. I haven't shagged him, have I? Definitely would have remembered him. Is he important? Oh! I love them! <laughs> right, by my calculation, you think it's 1990, and that would make you 17. And by this, well, I think we can agree that you have no idea about the modern world. Video call, Rebecca from Marcus's office. <gasps> Janet, hi. Hi! Rebecca, it's Stella. Can she see me? Sorry, this is a bit awkward, but Marcus isn't best pleased you stood him up. This is nuts. <laughs> We're gonna have to take our account to Blush Media. Blush? Well, you've seen their deodorant campaign. I mean, they think bikinis are ironic. Please, you have to give us another chance. I'll see what I can do. But you better pull it out of the bag tomorrow. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going with it because I don't want to freak out, but I am pretty sure I took some acid. So what kind of physio have you been having? Uh, not much, really. Had some at another sport physio clinic in Camberwell. Oh, I walk out of there sometimes. Oh. And at the Camden branch. And I walk out of there. <laughs> How long have you been going? Uh, since yesterday. Since I saw you. Gracie! Are you all right? Are you safe? Oh, <laughs> Mum! Get out! I've been going out of my mind! Mum, you can't just barge in when I'm working. What the hell was going on yesterday? I thought you'd been kidnapped. Can we talk about this in private? Okay. So now you want to talk to me? Uh, thank you for that. I should probably get going. Come back. No, I'm... I mean, come back again for a massage. Oh.
So, girls, why didn't you come to the last solstice? I was ill with a, a, a personal thing. I've been travelling. Still flighty as ever, Hannah, just like your mother. I was really busy with work. I see. Got to keep the bosses happy. Catherine was there with her coven. Blessing every bloody twig in sight. All four in matching outfits. I was running a lentil stall. No grace in the girls this year. Every bowl. Mum. How do you think it makes me look when I can't get my own daughter to go to solstice? Anyone would think you were declute. Just because I miss solstice doesn't mean I've given up practising. Oh. Oh, doesn't it? Oh. So how are you practising when air here keeps flitting off? I needed a break. A break? A break? You're a witch, love, not an IT consultant. Hands back now anyway, Mum. For a bit. Yeah, we've been doing some serious casting. We did a memory haze and... An enchantment. And an enchantment, a romantic enchantment, and a summoning of life. You brought someone back from the dead. Uh, was only a cat, but... No, no, still, I'm very impressed. Oh, wait till I tell Rhiannon that you girls are summoning life. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see her little pinched Welsh face when she hears about this. Exactly. <laughs> I say a moment longer when you could be at home boasting. <laughs> that switch we cast, we really fucked it up. Hey. <laughs> I love this magazine. <laughs> How much star flower did you put in? Um, about a... <laughs> oh. and, and then did you did you bless the feathers? Yeah. Mm. You see, this is the problem with a part-time coven. Well, it's my coven, so just deal with it. <laughs> but there's nothing in here about reversing or opposites. No, no, once you've cast a spell, you can't break it or, or cast an opposite spell. You can only lift it. How do we do that? Well, if someone <laughs> is under the influence of someone else, the only way to lift the spell is for those two people to exchange a truth. What truth? Well, it's different every time. You'll have to work it out yourselves, otherwise, that woman... <laughs> ..is going to be like this forever. <laughs> right. Where am I sleeping? Huh? Got a date? Why don't you come? Um, no, because it's a date, that would be weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Oh, probably not. Um, I'm off. What? Already? Well, I thought I'd give South America another go. I met this guy in Thailand who spent a summer there herding llamas. It sounds amazing. They give you your own yurt. How cool is that? Stay up with my fights. Say goodbye now, then. Mm. Oh, don't forget your brooch. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How many channels are there? I've got an idea. Why don't we tell each other a secret about ourselves? Like what? Something huge, something you'd take to your grave that you would never normally tell anyone. Is this like a bonding thing? Exactly. Then we'd be like friends forever? Yeah. Sort of. <gasps> OK, um... Well, this is quite a bad one. That's fine. I won't judge. I slept with my sister's boyfriend while she was in a coma. Brilliant. <laughs> right. Well, um... I'm a witch. Oh, Stella. No, you're not. You're lovely. No, I I actually am a witch. And I've cast a spell on you and given you amnesia. <laughs> you're such a tool. <laughs> love, love, it's all right. still away, yeah, it's fashion, art, 
Kelvin and Hobbs. He's got the same sense of humour as me. He lives two tube stops away from me and he isn't married. Oh, I've got to go. Who's that? Just my mate, Hannah. He likes to check up on me, make sure I'm still alive. <laughs> and what were you saying? Just that I'm having a really nice time with you. And that I think you're really young. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think you're really two. Which is amazing because you're the first woman I've been with. I was gay before I met you. At least I thought I was anyway. I only used to think about men. I was too shy to do anything about it. But all along, it was just because I hadn't met you. I oh, know. You make me feel my heart real. On. Janet, how old are you? Seventeen. Why do you keep asking me that? See, I'm going to have to move in here if this is the kind of mess you get yourselves into. Oh. You do the presentation. We'll look after Janet. I can't leave her. Look at the oh. state of her. Even more reason to do it for her. I can't do it on my own. Can you stop shouting, please? Calm down. I think what we're going to do with Janet. No, oh, I don't care about Janet. She treats me and everyone else like shit. Let's just leave her like this. <sighs> she doesn't mean it. No, I do. I do mean it. She's a cow. That's the truth. So tell her then. What? Tell Janet the truth. You're a cow. Tell her. You constantly undermine me. You're a bully, a, a bitch, a, a complete nightmare, and you never give me any responsibility. Yes. But without you, there'd be no agency, and and I, I do admire you for that. Do you? Do you also admire the fact that I'm 43 and my only friend is my cat? What do you think of me? Lazy, incompetent, low impact personality. Low impact personality. <laughs> Come on, Janet, we've got a presentation to get ready for. <laughs> Your product is a joke. But in jokes are the best jokes. They're fun intimate and, more importantly, are an aid memoir for friendship. Stella, why did you run through the ideas we've got? You look around once more So that your eyes will adjust To all the grain and dust I had to go with Miles. Oh. I don't think it's meant to be. You've got two hours left on that brooch. If you want to work your magic on someone else. Grace. You're bloody genius! <laughs> that went well then. What are those? Rape alarms. I don't. I don't want them. Just keep one in your bag. They'll drag you down. Right. You're a much better witch than all of them. You should be in lower suit. I can find you a new coven. I already have a coven. Yes, formed at Solstice Camp when you were 14. Don't you think it's time you moved on, found yourself some more mature elements? They need me. To make themselves feel better, probably. <coughs> Take that back. What? You know, I won't be tied to your apron strings anymore. What you just said, take it back. Just... <coughs> I'm just... Don't want you making any mistakes, that's all. Just 
supposed to make mistakes. That's life. Now go home and let me have one. Mr. Marple. Oh, no, I was wrong. No, I have a theme. Just try it. It clashes. Cut it on. What's wrong with you? It'll go with your eyes. Really? Ah! Hey. Hi. We've never properly met, have we? No. Who's that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you look at your brooch. Can I take a closer look? Two tight flight socks. I mean, have you ever even heard of anyone getting deep vein thrombosis? I reckon it's a scam. All packed. Didn't really unpack. Of course she didn't. What's wrong? I just wish sometimes you'd stick around long enough for me to actually talk to you. Well, I'm here now. Talk to me. It's my mum. Yeah, I know she's a pain in the ass, but she only because she loves me and I'm horrible to her. Calm down, you're not horrible to her. I just sent her home and told her to stay out of my life. Did you speak to your mum like that? Maybe. If I knew where to find her. Oh, and I'm sorry for being selfish. No, you're not. Listen, you argue with your mum because it's intense and you love her. And when you love someone, you say all kinds of horrible shit to them. It's actually a good thing. I'd love to have a screaming row with my mum, but the truth is, she doesn't really care enough to have one with me. No sympathy hugging. This isn't about me. Right, where's your mum now? Coach station. Then go there and thank her for being the pain in the ass that she is. I love you, Han. Tell that to Gloria. I'll answer my phone more. I've got a coach to catch, Grace. And I'll come home for the next solstice. And if you want to. Mum, please. It's just... I don't know where to start. Come on, love. One minute. Even though there's three of them, they don't replace you. Come on. Back off! I'm talking to my mum! Yes. Yes, and she lives in London now, and I don't get to see her as often as I'd like. Which is OK. I promise you'll come home for solstice. I'll bring my coven. Keep your mum happy. to make another appointment. Oh. <laughs> Taxi's here. Oh, right, have you got your sun cream? Wipes? Condoms. Check, check, check. You're going, then? I never said I'd stay. What if I hadn't got back in time? Would have just gone. You... you hate goodbyes. Whereas you clearly couldn't give a toss about them. Thanks. My room. It's 
not finished. It's beautiful. She's in every night doing something. I wanted to make it nice for when you got back. When you were here before, it was always so... What's the word? Shit. Depressing. Temporary. No wonder you never wanted to stay. Every country you go to, I put it up here. So they always know where you are. Look at all the places I've been to. Show us where you're going next. Birmingham. What? No. London. I'm staying in London. <gasps> Reveal to us who wishes ill. Show the one who would cause harm through vengeful hex or evil charm. Trust we won't retaliate. Our only aim is to defend our precious coven till the end. Starting again. <laughs> 